Hey guys, Colbert here. Welcome back to Watcher of Realms. Today we're going to be showcasing Helga, the Carrion Queen. She is a hero in the game right now, already on the Forerunner servers, but should be coming in soon on the official, the, the global launch servers. The one I'm on right now, I'm playing, but I'm on the test server, testing it out today. I do have access and I want to check her out. She does look amazing. One of the big things I like about uh, the creators of this game is that they took the time and, and put in the effort for the graphics, okay? For just how it, it looks. All of the heroes in the game look beautiful, at least the legendaries. Maybe not the commons and other commons, but the legendaries and the epics, they all look good, and some of the legendaries are just top-notch. So, this is no exception. Esotericist Fighter, if it's the one that you're looking for, then uh, Helga will be it. Let's go and have a look at her skills, and then we'll go and equip her with some gear live here because um, i want to see what she's all about so specialized attack speed so this is a known talent that many other heroes have and this is nothing you know out of the ordinary specialized attack speed basically means she'll be getting more attack speed than other champions would through attack speed stat okay because she provides a greater reduction in attack interval based on the attack speed attribute very simple and very good for her because uh, default attack has 80% magic damage to one enemy. If the target is not blocked by the hero, deals an additional 20% damage two times. Very cool. So basically, you want to be hitting. And uh, what is her hit radius? Quite, quite nice hit radius, actually, now that I see it. Attack range goes all the way. Very similar to Zilla 2. Although I'm not sure if it extends when you go... Um, when you use up your ultimate ability. So check that out. Rapidly strikes the target with the highest HP in range, dealing 25% damage four times every X seconds. X is equal to 30% of attack interval, which becomes shorter as the hero's attack speed increases. Yes, that's true. So if it's one second, so every one second you'll be hitting four times for 25% damage, that's 100%. It's not a lot, but she'll be striking very quickly, and that is going to help a lot for, um, uh, I think, for the for the Codex, right? It's going to help a lot in there. You need rabbit strikes, and that's going to be it. And you also reduce the cost by 100. It's not that much, but the effect duration goes up as you um, skill this one out. So it's a 10-second duration. Pretty cool ultimate. Let's have a look at the passive. During the ultimate, every eight times of damage dealt, on the same target inflicts a stun. Oh, that's actually cool. So yeah, this is, won't help so much for the codex, but it will help in the void rift. I think this is gonna be crucial for control because imagine during your ultimate, you'll be hitting eight times very quickly. So the enemies might not even have time to react. So a stun for one second duration is quite, quite cool. And then uh, what's the other passive? When there's an ally within one Tal ahead increases his crit damage equal to 15% of that ally's crit damage. Oh, wow. Okay, so you just partner her up with another ally right next to each other, and she'll be getting additional crit damage. So what you can do is build her with, let's say, an amulet with attack speed, and then have her next to, let's say, your Zilla 2 or some other fighter that you're using with high crit damage. And she'll just get that in, instead of having the amulet. So that extra 200 speed that you can get will be very important for her to get as much speed as possible. That's what I'm thinking uh, right now. In terms of awakenings, I, I always have a look at these, but I'm not really putting the effort to look at these, if that makes sense, because it's, you know, getting one copy might be difficult. Imagine getting extra five. So increase damage dealt to the same target by 1% for each consecutive hit. Oh, this is so cool. This effect will reset, so 15% boost to damage through your default attacks. Uh, well, all your attacks, actually. Crit damage. When dealing damage, there's a 20% chance to apply magic resist reduction, rage regen, and then attack interval reduces by 20%. Yeah, the A5 is just super strong. And then in terms of artifacts, I will probably equip her with this one, the Wailing Skull. So let's... Uh, give that to her she just does a lot more damage based on the attributes that she has so um, mm, I'm not sure if the shadow guard also gets the attack speed though it might be something that we can test out so how would I equip her now that we see that her uh, attack interval is a 2.6 she does gain the specialized the specialized attack speed um, 
gain specialized attack speed. So I wonder if that actually shows from the start. So I, I would give her probably this set right here, the Inferno Aurora set. I don't think you would go with some other set. Uh, the problem is we are on the test server, so I might not have attack bow. Um, no, attack speed as the amulet. I do have one. All right, let's give that to her. Can I actually upgrade this? Let's go. And then, so my thinking is attack speed is going to be very beneficial to her. Look at that. Just with 220 attack speed, her interval drops by 1.4 to 1.2 seconds. And then after that is, is where things become um, interesting in, in, the, in the sense of more attack speed. What is better, more attack speed or... Um, so I think with her attack base at 5k, I want to go a little bit more attack bonus instead of anything else so attack bonus crit rate attack speed let's see we're not on 100 percent crit rate so i have one attack bonus here one attack bonus here one speed here and then obviously for um for chest we're gonna go with crit rate attack bonus or if we can crit rate attack bonus crit damage but yeah not very good set that we have access to here, but it's still going to be worth it, I think. Crit rate, crit damage, attack bonus, wonderful. We get extra attack speed. We're almost at 500 attack speed. So how much that drops? My attack interval to 0 0.9 seconds. That is amazing. 0 0.9 seconds. So um, X is equal to 30% of the attack interval. So 0 0.9, so it's 0 0.3 seconds. Is that what this means or does this mean the base attack interval? We'll see it in action actually now. Okay, so overall stats, almost 100% crit rate. I've got 264 crit damage. I know that's low, but it's the gear is not very optimal here. We went for more attack speed than, than crit damage. So we'll be getting the, the crit damage from other heroes and lots of lots of attack here, 19,000, because she's got a very good base. So that helps us out. So uh, we'll actually go in there with Zillitu. So Zillitu will be giving us a little bit of this crit damage, which again, it's not that crazy high, but um, let's go and have a look. I don't think you'll have a, a place for her in the guild boss, at least with the meta that we have right now. But remember, more bosses are coming in the future. So we'll have that in mind, have that in mind that more bosses will be coming in the future. So uh, you should be thinking, okay, can I actually you know, build different teams with what I have, then yeah, it might be the case where we need more mages, more fighters that are different um, factions. So it's not going to be only Infernals and, you know, Rage Region for Infernals and maybe Piercers, All right? So let's go play test this one out. Let's go with Helga uh, using, you know, the new play test feature. This will be coming soon on the live servers as well. So that's, that's cool to think. Okay, so let's uh, just drop in Dolores. This is like the normal setup look at her beautiful like that and i think yeah we could just place some healing like so and i just wanna i want to see her damage but she's together with with just zilitu so she's gaining that extra 15 percent so i want to see her ultimate right now so let's see so she should be spamming like crazy her attacks attack interval so let's pop dolores and let's just see her in action oh look at that it's just a just a barrage of attacks look at that look at that so we're hitting for 11k 11k that, that goes on for quite some time look at that yeah that is that is immortal codex for sure that is definitely for the immortal codex the number of attacks even if i put it on a, a 0.5x speed i wouldn't be able to count the number of attacks we did there. Uh, that was quite, quite cool. So, uh, I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna remove Zillitu and have a look at, let's, let's restart this. I'm not gonna use Zillitu, so we're gonna be doing a little bit less damage because of the 15% crit damage that we get. So, yeah, let's just place her here. We wanna see a little bit of our damage here. So we're hitting for 31K. Then there's our ghost, uh, what's it called Shadow Clone. He's doing solid damage as well. 
<laughs> look at this it's just rage regen to the max basically look at that <laughs> the whole team with rage regen so we're hitting for 32k very strong um i want to see the ultimate once i have dolores all right so we pop dolores let's pop her as well and let's see this in action so look at that 13k 65k i see lots of numbers in there look at that look at the damage okay so what i want to do now is i want to compare the damage although they have like similar stats i think zillitu will still do more damage here but helga looks amazing for uh what we want so oh do we not get the raids here Nah, it's fine should be fine should be totally fine so we're just gonna go until the shield the shield vulnerability ends basically until then uh, until then i'm gonna pop the ultimates only in just a little bit although zillitu would take advantage from popping the ultimate then popping it again she would have more overall damage it's just a rough rough damage test nothing more than that rough damage test so yeah let's just pop everything all right do we have i think we have another 10 seconds or so <clears throat> Could have saved it a little bit there. Yeah, Zillitu is just doing all the work, I think, with her ultimate. Because it, it goes on for much longer. Because our ultimate is back up again. And if you compare that, pop it and, yeah, look at all the damage there. It's just, it's it's obvious that, that you know, there's going to be difference in terms of the lures that you're going to be using and also the timing of every one of your ultimates. So let's quit the battle and see the damage recap. I think Zillitu is going to be on top, but I would be gladly surprised. Uh, no, I should click, should click the, the damage. All right, let me, let me do that again. Let me do that again for you guys and, and, and see. All right, this time around, I'm just going to pop the ultimate at four minutes and I think it's seven seconds or is it nine seconds? I think it's seven i want to say seven let's pop the ultimate let's see that shield drop down just two champions dropping the shield um on nightmare 4 so cool all right and and it, just like that our ultimate is now done and zillitu is still going so you know you see the difference there in terms of how often you can be popping your ultimates and dragon should be up now and it's it's obvious that zillitu throughout that time did so much more damage so i mean if i pop her again no i'm not gonna pop her again i did but i'm gonna quick battle and just gonna click on the damage recap i think zillit 2 might be like i don't know how much higher we'll see oh very similar stats very similar stats and i i think i have them both pretty much the same equipped but very similar stats we don't have the lord bonus in there for her that is actually uh, quite surprising. So I don't know how, how lower my stats were on Zilla 2. 16,000 attack. Yeah, not 100% crit, 382. So we do have much lower stats. And I didn't use my Infernal Lord in there. Many, many things that could have boosted her Zilla, my Zilla 2's damage even higher. But Helga proven her worth there. And then let's have a look at the stun mechanic. I think... Would that do anything for Arena? Unfortunately, we're in bronze in Arena. The, the enemies that we're fighting are so low in terms of power. It's, um, it's not going to be helpful. So what I want to see is campaign. Let's go into normal. Like Cold Brew, why are you going into normal? Well, normal is actually difficult if you go to stage 9. Uh, let's go into the campaign and see just a random stage here. Let's go to one of the more easier ones, at least in terms of managing everything. Mm, I wonder how she's going to do with an Esotericis Lord, because I do have Cyrus on my main account. Cyrus is so good. Oh, I do not have Cyrus. Oh, I do have him here. All right, that's cool. And then uh, we just need a healer, maybe in a tank, just to, just to get this done. So there's a tank there and a healer. Just go in there. Just to, I want to see the stun mechanic, basically, that she can do, which is during her ultimate, she, she, she'll be stunning a lot. So that's her, that's her th thing. 
So here, her ultimate should be. Oh, there's the. Oh, let's let's pop this. See. Oh my god, that was uh much, much uh much more damage than I thought. We just eliminated them. I think Cyrus the Lord just giving you so much, so much power. Oh my god. All right, so I want I want to see the ultimate again. Let's take, give her ten percent attack now. Oh, I do not have the set on him. Invigoration set. That's fine. So I should be popping my ultimate, and once I do that, these guys should be just dead. All right, let's see. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> so nice. He's actually so cool. And and um, you know, her being an esoteric is just just. Gives me that little bit of hope that I'll, I'll get her and she's just going to make, uh, you know, I'll, I'll be able to make fun combos on my account. Because I've got Boreas, I've got Cyrus, and she just looks so, so good. Uh, yeah, this was Helga, guys, on the test server, but should be on the live server soon enough. Uh, what do you guys think? I do like her a lot. Attack speed just works wonderful on her. Attack speed. So if you have, like, an attack speed amulet, I think it's... It's worth the sacrifice. And the more things, like you add allies next to her that give her that extra crit damage, the better she becomes. So good. Becomes also so good with A1. The A1 extra 15% damage. But it's on, a, it's on the same target. So it's on like... She's going to work everywhere uh, so well. So that was Helga, guys. I'll be doing videos on the other three heroes as well that we have access to on the test server. So keep that in mind. Subscribe if you haven't already. Thank you all. I'll see you in the next one. See ya.